Hey, Geminis. Welcome to your love reading for the rest of 2019 for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So I'm just going to jump right into the meditative session that I did, and then we're going to go ahead and do uh, the pre-shuffle on screen. Then we're going to go ahead and actually get into the reading, okay? If you're new to my channel or new to tarot, please look below for the link for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. It's very informative. It's a little quick crash course 101 to give you a little guidance on what kind of readings to watch, what signs to watch, certain terminology, and certain things to just be aware of as you're watching a tarot reading, okay? Um, what was the thing I wanted to mention? Oh, I'm trying to remember to mention all this shit ahead of time. This is Water Baby Tarot. I don't even know if I said the channel name. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, this is Water Baby Tarot. I don't know if I said it. There you go. Um, I am also on Patreon, Vimeo, BitChute, and Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So go ahead and check out the content there. It is different content, okay? All right, guys, so let's get into the meditative session. So first of all, I'm feeling very scorpionic today. I don't know if you guys can tell. I am feeling very scorpionic today. So just like, just roll with it if you think I'm a little intense today. Just feeling really powerful, feeling real strong. Anyway, Geminis, tapping into your energy, it's very fun, okay? At least there's one energy that's having a really good time. It feels very childlike. I feel like some of you, if this is the energy that you're resonating with, keep in mind it's energy, so it can be someone you're connecting to or someone within your environment, okay? Um, it, energy's fluid, it's not linear, so things can be reversed. So switch the roles if you have to. Um, but Geminis, yeah, very fantastical, very Geminian, just very like almost mischievous, but in a very positive way. Some of you are actually fantasizing a lot. Some of you are daydreaming. Some of you are allowing yourselves to kind of go there as far as like your fantasies and your dreams and what you want. If you, if you have been avoiding um, daydreaming about a certain person, you're allowing yourself to do that. If you've been not really feeling playful, you're finally playful again. Uh, some of you are trying to uh, re regain that energy you used to have as a child, that childlike sense of wonder, which is very important actually for creativity and success. And some of you, this is actually helping you to be more creative as well. Okay. However, they show me the polar bear card in the Norman deck. I love they show me cards, like very specific cards. That card, the polar bear card in the, in the Norman deck is a little different than the bear card in the other Lenormand deck that I use for those who've been with me for a while. Actually, I guess I should just show it to you. Hold on. I always forget to do that until I'm like recording. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you probably want to see it. <laughs> Hold on, there it goes. The polar bear, it's associated with the 10 of wands energy, 15 breaking down to a six. I feel like a polar bear energy is watching you, okay? As far as polar bear spirituality, this is a very pure card. It's usually pure intention. Now, however, it can have a negative connotation if it goes into a shadowy energy where it's kind of like the road, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? Um, God, I just got a couple things off of that. The polar bear that's watching you, Gemini, it could be a protective feminine, 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 <laughs> sorry, I'm silly today. Uh, feminine energy. Uh, God, I have so much energy running through me. It's ridiculous. It could be very protective feminine energy. Okay. So just be aware that that's only for some of you, not all of you. Um, oh, that's interesting. Some of you, it's a guide. Hmm. Okay. Gemini, this has to be only like a couple of you, to be honest with you, where, you know, I was getting that childlike sense of wonder. That's something that is very Gemini and it's something that is um, one of your strong traits for those who I'm about to give this message for. And it's very attractive. A lot of people like it. Someone wants it. OK, someone wants it. Someone wants it. Uh, and someone's very, very. Uh, what's the word? Headstrong. It's not even. No, it's more, it's more intense than that. Driven. Someone's really driven to understand why you're like that or how to attain that. And someone I think is going to be trying to fake it really soon or been trying to fake it. They ain't successful. OK, you can't you can't fake something that's natural. <laughs> right. I mean, it's like the polar opposite. It's like something's natural or something's fake. You can't like you could try. But I mean, the real thing's the real thing. Right. No one can no one can mimic who you really are. Right. Anyway, that's a message for some of you. Um, the polar bear that's watching you, I also feel a little bit of a bulldozing energy, Gemini. So just get ready. Some of you might have some confrontations coming up. Um, I did just hear jealousy. Some of you, this confrontation, like I said, it's a, it's a, that bear energy with that 10 of wands. That's a, that's a lot of energy. That's a lot of willpower. Okay. That's a lot of willpower. I don't think they're going to like, this is, oh God, I'm sorry. I'm getting so many things for some of you. This person thinks they can just strong arm you or if they throw enough energy your way or if they just bulldoze you like you'll just like 
be flattened out. They keep showing me fairies. Sorry, so many things. They keep showing me fairies associated with your like childlike energy. So just be aware that that might be something to pay attention to that fairies might be very important to you. Okay. Um, the magical realm might be very important to some of you. Fair, they just, yeah, they just told me fairy magic, fairy magic. Either way, they look at you like, like you're so sweet or you're so innocent or you're so fragile, but you're not. They're going to make a big mistake there. Yeah, don't piss off a Gemini. Doesn't everyone know you got another twin in there? <laughs> this is as sweet as like one twin is. The other twin's like, ha, you know, it's like, that's just a typical Gemini thing. That's funny. Yeah, some of them are going to get a really rude awakening, a really rude awakening. Um, for some of you, I know I'm getting so many messages for you guys. For some of you, this polar bear, um, God, why do I feel like it's white? So it's like, I'm getting like, you know, white's usually pure. They think they have pure intention. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. I just bought a product and um, it's sitting on my counter. I'm just, as I'm thinking about it, thinking about it, I'm like, oh shit, it actually says pure over there. Yeah, it's almost like advertising purity. Oh my God, Gemini's. Okay, whoever this is for you, some of you, not all of you, they like to advertise purity or like innocence, but it's not, it, they're not. It's an ad. It's an ad. <laughs> This is so funny. It's an ad. It's marketing. <laughs> I'm sorry. So my guides are being so funny with me today. Yeah, for some of you, this polar bear likes to market purity. They ain't, though. They ain't. They're not. They're not pure. They're not. They're jealous. They're they're just jealous. Uh, they got a lot of hate towards you, and they're going to try to bulldoze you. They're not going to be successful. They're not going to be successful. Um, so yeah, yes, you guys are in that childlike sense of wonder and you guys are sweet. You guys are having fun. You guys are enjoying life. I can feel it. It's very, it's very beautiful. Honestly, it's also very radiant. People might actually tell you you're very radiant. And they think they can just crush you because of that. It ain't going to work. That's what I keep getting. Like, it's just not going to work. This has been a big theme, by the way, for the rest of the year. So just keep in mind a lot of the readings uh, for the rest of the year are probably going to have this theme of like hateration and jealousy. Um... Yeah, I just keep getting like they're staring at you, like ready to ready to like bulldoze you over. Something's gonna trigger them to do it. They might just like not be able to take it anymore. You know, because sometimes like laughter, laughter, positivity, joy is the most infuriating thing to people like that. They just can't fucking stand it. And I think I've said this before in one of my videos, like, how can you be so happy? You know, it's like it just pisses people off to no end when they don't know how to embody that or they don't. Not, that doesn't naturally come to them. Someone is so pissed off at you, Gemini. God, this get this is getting deeper. Some of you, this some, this person's so pissed off at you. They've got so much anger towards you, and I think it's just because you embody everything they can't be or everything that they're not. Oh, that's really sad. That's sad. Ooh, ooh, I felt it. <laughs> Almost felt like another like little like 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 what did she just say? Oh, that's so crazy. I sorry, I'm I'm so tapped in right now to like both of these energies. And like I said, for some of you. This is very mild, right? And some of you, this is very extreme. So just understand it's a spectrum of energy. Uh, Gemini is the playful, the people who are in the playful energy, I just got a lot of purple, a lot of purple. That might be your favorite color. Maybe you're just being drawn to purple at this time. Please wear it. I do feel like it's a power, I'm a couple, power color for you at this time. Yeah, I'm getting all this childlike references. You might be around a lot of children, but yeah, no, you're just like, you're you're happy, you're happy. I feel like I'm tapping into Gemini's who have a very, uh, you've healed your inner child and you are embodying your inner child more and it's really serving you. It's really serving you. So now they're almost 10 minutes in. Let's just get into the pre-shuffle. <laughs> Let me just stop channeling for a second and just get into the pre-shuffle here. Oh, by the way, I'm using Beautiful Creatures deck. Oh, no wonder I was drawn to, I just realized. No wonder I was drawn to this deck. <laughs> Advertisement. <laughs> Oh my god, my guides are so funny today. Please send any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Summon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh guys, I feel them. They're so pissed off right now. Oh my god, it's, ma it's making me smile. It's actually making me smile. Guys, if, if you know exactly who this is and you smile in their face, or you just live your best life, oh my god, they're gonna be so mad. <laughs> Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing. And I almost like my guides are making me laugh intentionally to like 
transmute that like that hate from them it's interesting or to make a make a point with their energy this is weird i feel like their energy is like their energy is like is trying so hard to like penetrate like your your light your innocence your inner child like it's trying so hard and i feel like it's actually around you a lot you may or may not sense it but it, you're because you're just so freaking happy can't really do anything about it which actually makes them more upset that's interesting Please including messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Geminis, you're going to get a lot of flirty messages for the rest of the year. Please be mindful of that. A lot of these might be people from your past. Ooh. We have the habit. Dependency. 15. Isn't that the devil? I, lo I love this deck, but I I'm still not used to it. I'm pretty sure that's the devil. Devil? The devil. <laughs> the devil. I don't like the way this chick looks. She, she, she's, she's something. She, 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 she's, got, she's got something going on here. Um, oh, I don't like that cat either. I just realized. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like that cat. Why do I feel witchy vibes with this? Gemini's really... Some of you guys might be dealing with someone who's like practicing some shit on you. I don't feel like they're going to be successful. And I think that makes them really angry. Yeah, that's what I keep getting with that. But isn't that the devil card? Sorry, like I have to confirm this because it's making me crazy. I'm pretty sure that's the devil. Right? 15. Right? Yeah. I keep wanting to say yes. Almost positive that's the devil. Feels devilish. Mm -hmm. Bear with me, guys. Yeah, it is the devil. Okay. <laughs> I just had to double check. I just had to double check. I like to be thorough. So we've got the devil card here. What did I say? They jealous. They very jealous. Um, I don't feel like they actually are dependent on anything. This person is just toxic. This per this person, I feel like they're actually embodying devil energy. They could just be a Capricorn. I doubt it. I feel like they just embody the devil. Like they just embody nastiness. They just, and devil's not always a, a bad thing. This feels like a bad devil association, okay? Yeah, it's just nastiness. It's nastiness. This person's very dark and like not in a, not in a, not in a positive power way. I've talked about the shadow side. I've talked about dark energy and how it is important. No, this per this person is just... D this person's just dark. They're dark. They're twisted. They're toxic. Selfish. They're very selfish. They like the limelight is what I just got. They like the limelight. They like, they like attention. They do like attention. So they're a little dependent on that. Ooh, we've got ten of wands in reverse. What it ten of wands with the polar bear. Ten of wands in reverse. Sag energy. Oof. Their their jealousy is is a big ass burden. Their jealousy is a burden and it and it motivates them to do to do dark things. It motivates them to Yeah, I'm like it just it motivates and enables the the toxicity within them and the toxic ways, the toxic behaviors. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Something's about to end though. There's a cycle about to end around this person. I think they feel it and it's making them upset. Now we have Nine of Wands, the Page of Wands in reverse. We got some bad news. Bad news coming. Yeah. I feel like this person, we'll just call them the devil because that's what they are. <laughs> They're just embodying the devil energy so hard right now. Um, and keep in mind, it's just a pre-shuffle still. God, I know, so much information right out the, right out the gate. Um, they got some bad news. They definitely had some bad news here coming in and they know something's about to end. It's fueling the fire. It's fueling the fire. Please bring for new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. I just heard supply. Ew. I just heard supply. Their supply might be ending. I don't know what, I don't know what that's about. Uh, please bring for new messages. That's got to be for like a few of you. I'm like supply. Um, please bring for new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, I did just hear Sag. All of a sudden, I feel a hell, a hell of a lot of fire energy. I feel like it's more anger, though. It's and more anger associated, like destructive fire. Destructive fire. Oh, this is the person that likes to destroy shit on their way out after they've been fired, you know? Very petty. Pleasing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 
Also very manipulative. They're very manipulative. Um, their anger is their weakness, though. Their anger is their weakness. Once they get angry, they lose their fucking shit. And they can't manipulate people anymore. Because they show their colors. Ooh, and then we've got the death card. Scorpionic energy. There's a lot of dark shit going on here, Gemini. Because <laughs> I'm kind of like, doesn't this look like a little witchy person? I'm sorry. I'm just like, wow. Yeah, something is ending. Something is ending for this devil person. It does feel like a feminine energy. It could be a man. Something's ending. Some bad news is coming in. Um, I, I feel like someone's taking a stand against this person. I feel like someone's taking a stand against this person. And it just, it something is ending hardcore. It adds fuel to the fire. And I think they try to go and bulldoze you. They For some reason, they want to bulldoze you or target you, Gemini. You might get blamed in this. Oh, this feels familiar. This feels familiar. I feel like I had a reading just like this for you guys like a, a few weeks ago. Um, but I love this energy. I'm, I'm loving this. There's a lot of power in this energy. A lot of God, scorpionic energy as well. So it's interesting. I was like, oh, I'm feeling so scorpionic and dark. Um, and I had you guys in my mind like all morning. That's so interesting. Could be a Scorpio. Could have Scorpio in your chart here. Um, I love this energy on the end though. I'm loving it. Why am I loving this transformation so much? Because it's an ending. It's definitely an ending. It's changing a situation though. It's almost like this devil's getting the curtain call. Yeah, it's like this devil's getting the curtain call. And that's the bad news because someone's standing up to them. And it really empowers somebody. That's what I'm getting. It really empowers somebody. Wow, okay, Gemini, let's get into your actual reading. What do you say? This fell out again, by the way. Yeah, this person likes attention. This person really, really, really likes attention. Can't get enough of that. Any messages for Gemini? Oh, keep forgetting my intro. So for those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, uh, please know these messages are very general. They are not for everybody. So just if it's not your story, it's not your story. Please support those who it resonates with, especially those who are you in the chat and the premiere. Hello. Hey, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Energy is fluid. It's not linear. Uh, so if you have to switch the roles, just switch up the roles and that's totally fine. Don't focus on the gender. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Gender is fluid, as we all know. Uh, what else? It is for the rest of 2019, but time is not linear either. So whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. This could have already happened to you. This could also be a couple months out. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019? You guys always make me talk so much. <laughs> Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Gemini regarding love? For the rest of 2019. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh at this person. I just like people who go to like this level of anger and hatred and jealousy. Like they kind of make me laugh. They kind of do. I'll be honest with you. They kind of do. Because it's like it's like a, a child throwing a tantrum, you know. And it's like I feel like this person, like I said, they have that like advertisement of purity advertisement of purity and it's like the second you go and throw a tantrum don't you understand that that whole facade is gone and out the window i don't think they get that anyway any messages for gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019 gemini's they are so pissed off at you like the happier you get the angrier they get any messages for gemini it's like a brat. I'm sorry. I'm going to go there. This feels a little bit like a bratty energy, especially like the need for attention. Any messages for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini? Ooh, we've got a Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Someone's holding back. Oh, this feels like someone who's put in a corner. Oh, I don't like this. This actually feels like a masculine energy. I know there's a female on there, but someone's holding back. It's strategic. They're holding back. I feel like this person knows a lot. This person has a lot to say. They have a lot of information, but they're holding back. And it's it actually, from what my guides are telling me, it, it's exactly what needs to be done. It's the smart move. This person's got a lot of answers and information. Gemini, what are you getting yourselves into? This could very well be you. This actually feels like a different energy than what I was feeling in the pre-shuffles. This could be a, a third player involved. Doesn't have to be cheating. It could just be a dynamic between a bunch of friends or family or, or co-workers, you know? 
Any other messages for Gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019? Let's see here. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're holding back. But again, it feels smart. It actually feels smart. Eight of Swords is, is a Gemini energy. It's a, usually an energy of entrapment or fear. They're not holding back out of fear, though. They're not. They're holding, I can feel it. They're holding themselves back because it's the right thing to do. It's the smart thing to do. Gemini, I've, why do I feel like this is you? It doesn't have to be, but it just feels very smart. feels very Geminian. This trapping energy, it's like, it's, it feels so weird. They're protecting themselves. This person's protecting themselves. Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019? God, I love these cards. They're just so pretty. Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019? I'm almost getting like this person can't be touched with that eight of swords. It doesn't even, it doesn't even feel like fear. No, it feels, oh, it feels intentional. I almost lost the whole deck. Any other messages for Gemini? Any other messages for Gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any other messages for Gemini regarding love for the rest of 2019? Wow, guys, we only got one other card out here. Knight of Wands, Sag Energy, could also be Aries or Leo. I, yeah, I'm almost feeling like part two. Part one, part two. Part one, holding back, have a lot of information. I can't say anything just yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to bide my time, and I'm going to protect myself in the meantime. And then something changes, and then part two happens, and they take the fuck off. Overall energy, we do have... Queen of Swords in the verse, Libra energy, could also be air or water, I heard fire, this could be a fire sign, not necessarily. Underneath that, we do have the Ace of Wands, ooh, star in reverse, Aquarian energy, and then we have a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, could also be earth or water here. Yeah, someone wants to break away into a new beginning here, they're very motivated to do it, but with that star in reverse, I'm, it's usually a lack of faith or a lack of belief or needing to heal a situation, I'm feeling needing to heal. Needing to heal a situation here. Yeah, Gemini's, like I said, this could very well be you. Very well be you. This person has information that's vital, but they're waiting for the perfect time. And when the perfect time comes, they're going to take off and go and deliver that information here. And a new beginning can start. A new beginning can start to heal and give clarity to a Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, to give clarity to a Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that pre-shuffle was almost like the prequel. <laughs> like, <laughs> are we in the movies? Like, part one, part two, the theme of part one and part two, and the pre-shuffle was the prequel to all of this. It's like, that's exactly how that feels. Oh, that's so funny. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down a little bit. Since we only have three cards for you, Gemini, we can really get into this. Let's look at the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I'll go for you. Rider right weight, using rider right weight. Tell me the Knight of Cups in reverse for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Tell me the Knight of Cups in reverse for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Tell me the Knight of Cups in reverse for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Tell me the Knight of Cups in reverse for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Time of the Knight of Cups in reverse for Gemini. Yeah, I feel like this person has information. Even in the Eight of Swords, the way like she's holding that globe, globe, aquarium for dinosaurs. <laughs> kind of cute. Uh, I feel like that's the information that they're holding. Yeah, and like, why am I getting time with that? Like, I just heard time of the dinos dinosaurs. That's interesting. Time of the dinosaurs. Um, yeah, there's something about time attached to this. 
information that either goes way back up till present day or like I said, just waiting for the right time to, to unveil some information that they've been holding on to for a while. Tell me about Knight of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Knight of Cups in reverse for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Mm-hmm. What did I say? High Priestess in reverse. Piscean could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Yeah, this person ha this person knows. This person knows a lot of information and they're holding back. Do I have the Knight of Cups in reverse? I feel like they know of some trickery or deception. Scheme. I just heard scheme. Tell me about Knight of Cups in reverse for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Why am I hearing playground? That childlike energy I was sensing, maybe maybe that's what that is. That's where they just said playground. Three of Wands. Yep, waiting, just waiting for the right time. That's exact. That's exactly what I was feeling. I have all this information. I just have to wait. I just have to wait for the right time, and then I can, boom, take off. Saw the Knight of Cups in reverse. Some of the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yep. Mm hmm. Waiting for the right time to say something. Waiting for the right time to make my move. Sagittarian energy. God, do I even need the cards today? Some of the Knight of Cups in reverse. Wow. To take off. I'm loving this. Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Could even be an apology here. But yeah, it's someone who's like, I, I, I have this information. It's not the right time. It's not the right time. It's not the right time. Boom. It's the right time. No one's going to stop me. There's a lot of fast moving energy. No one's going to fucking stop me. This could also indicate, um, indicate, this could also indicate that there's intuition at play here. Okay. Climb over the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's about deception. So I have the Knight of Cups in reverse for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. It's about deception. It's about deception. That's what I'm getting with that. I feel like it's something they know. It could be something they're guilty of, but I feel like it's something they just are aware of. And they just, they know there's a right time to speak about it. Overall energy, we do have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse of Virgo energy. It could be work-related. Yeah, someone, like I said, it's holding back energy. Someone's holding back. They're not putting energy into something, someone, or a situation because they know what's going on. They have a key piece of information. They're waiting. They're biding their time. And then when the time is right, they're going to boom. They're going to take off. And it's around some kind of deceptive act or it could be around money uh, in a deceptive way. Okay? Around money in a deceptive way. Yeah. I feel like the Eight of Swords is really just them holding back. I don't even think they're afraid. They just know better. <laughs> <laughs> they just know better um god what is this all right so let's look at the page of pentacles in reverse in a little more detail since i'm not going to look at the eight of swords and then we'll look at the nine of wands yeah let's look at this page of pentacles in reverse i'm gonna use the kipper deck for this one tell me the page of pentacles in reverse tell me the page of pentacles in reverse So I have the Page of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Let's see. Of course. Oh, we have thoughts and toil and labor. Uh, toil and labor is an, an energy of obligation, uh, really hard work. It's the shit you don't want to do, the shit that you feel forced to do here okay and then what else came out yeah the false person yeah someone knows about something deceptive i don't need the cards today this is so crazy um they know and with thoughts and toil and labor they don't want to sit with it but they know it's for they know it's best they know it's best for right now time of page of pentacles in reverse time of page of pentacles in reverse for gemini for the rest of 2019 now we have interesting concern and official person. Something's been confirmed. This is interesting. So one of the reasons they were holding back, I think, is they wanted more confirmation of what they thought they knew about someone who was deceptive, someone who was fake, whatever. Um, and then they became concerned because it was confirmed. Official person's like inevitable stuff or or official. <laughs> confirmed confirmation it could also be an energy of like uh, someone holds a title or rank or someone who's like 
the official person in a situation or like it could also be looked at as the one in a romantic situation um if this is purely romance i don't feel i don't feel like it's purely romance for some of you it's definitely work related um if this is purely romance someone might you know someone might be realizing that they chose the wrong person that oh shit that is my actual person or shit like i'm, I'm with the wrong person that could definitely be it and someone was just playing along you know um but i yeah i really feel like it's just I know, I, I know something's wrong. I know something's not right. I know someone's being deceptive. I know, I know, I know. Let me, let me sit with this. Let me sit with this. Fuck, I was right. Overall energy. We do have message of concern here. Um, underneath that, we do have, ah, we do have change. So yeah, someone's world has changed. Someone's uh, dynamic has changed. Someone's understanding of someone. Get a few multiple people. It could just be between you and one person or multiple people. Um, but someone's understanding of a situation, like, now they're worried. Because it's like, wow, yeah. That concern I had, that worry I had that that person was fake or false or this deceptive act is going on, it's been confirmed. It's been confirmed. And then someone takes off. I think that's what they're waiting for, just waiting for that right confirmation. And then they're out of there. Yeah. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. I know, Gemini, this is kind of heavy. Um... see here you yeah, know let's do radiant wise crap okay so under the knight of wands so under the knight of wands i feel like this false person is definitely the polar bear energy and like i said it could be multiple people does it's representing an energy energy can be one person or many so take that as it resonates. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Yeah, I feel like the more I'm in this, I do feel like it's a masculine energy who has this information waiting for the right confirmation. They get the confirmation and then they then they they take off. They take off. It feels like a masculine energy. It can be a female, though. And I feel like part of this takeoff is to go and give uh, some clarity to a feminine energy. Again, it could be going to a man, but it's to a queen of pentacles. Talking about knight of wands. Talking about knight of wands. For Gemini for the rest of 2019. God, very similar to like, what are the reading? To the Libra reading with this whole like advertisement of purity. That was the fake person. They were advertising purity. Tell me about Knight of Wands. Or probably just good intentions, right? Tell me about Knight of Wands for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Gemini for the rest of 2019. Come on. Okay. Woo! Page of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Swords. And just as I was talking about that person, Libra energy could also be air or water. Yeah, this is someone who's not honest. Like I said, advertising purity. The Queen of, the queen of Swords upright usually advertises pure thought, pure mind, uh, clarity, the truth. With the Page of Cups in reverse, that is total dishonesty. It's a facade. It's a facade. This knight, this uh, knight is aware of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Yeah. This person could have been, um, oh God, yeah, I'm getting that call of attention. I need more. I want more and more and more and more and more. This Queen of uh, Swords, excuse me, Queen of Swords energy. They always want more. They always want more. Give me, give me, give me that bratty energy I was picking up on. This person does feel like they're that polar bear energy that I was picking up on. Uh, this knight has been wondering, they know, and then they get the confirmation, and then they're out of there, leaving this person behind, and they feel like also going to tell uh, this queen of pentacles about what's going on. To be like, hey, you should know, you should be aware of this. Talking about the Knight of Wands. Talking about the Knight of Wands for Gemini. 
Oh God, this Queen of Swords is getting left fast. <coughs> oh my God. <clears throat> Hold on a second, let me get some water. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, yeah, look at that shit. Five of Wands in reverse with a Six of Wands in reverse. Two fives next to each other, by the way. Very synchronistic of change and uh, towers. But Six of Wands in reverse and Five of Wands in reverse. This person lost. That's not actually what I'm hearing. They lost. They lost. That, I feel like the Queen of Swords looks at it that way. The polar bear. They look at the situation like that. They lost. This knight's just gone. They're just gone. Okay? They're just gone. Talking about the Knight of Wands. Ten of, ten of Wands. That polar bear energy, right? Oh, man. Oh, this queen is pissed. This queen is so fucking pissed. Geminis, my queen of pence, you guys might feel the brunt of this polar bear. They might be, if they're aware of you, which I think they're very, very, very painfully aware of you, they're gonna they're gonna try something. I can feel it. Time of the Knight of Wands. Shit, because they've been rejected. Four of Cups in reverse. Because they I just keep hearing they lost, they lost, they lost. Time of the Knight of Wands. And it's not like it, I don't want to try to make it seem like it's a competition. Five of Wands out here indicates that that's how this queen has been feeling. That it's a competition and they've lost. Time of the Knight of Wands for Gemini. Overall energy. Yeah, Seven of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy, and then we have the Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, could also be Air, or Fire, and then the Six of Pentacles, Taurian Energy. Yeah, someone's someone's very clear in this, someone's very clear in this, um, and someone's very pissed, okay? Like I said, my Queen of Pens, you might feel the brunt of this, okay? This Queen's freaking out. This Queen of Swords, the polar bear, they're freaking the fuck out and they're pissed. They're angry. They feel like they've lost. They're ready to they're ready to bulldoze. They're ready to bulldoze, flip chairs, flip tables, all that crazy shit. And this masculine energy over here, this knight has been wondering for a while and now they have the confirmation and they can't get the hell out of Dodge fast enough. And I feel like because they're coming your way, this polar bear is not far behind. Okay. Oh, this is messy. Gemini's. I really hope this ain't for for a lot of people because this is not a cool situation. I just heard I just heard destruction, like this polar bear person. Because now, oh, I don't like that. I just heard seek and destroy. Yeah, like now that now they're gonna be on this like this hell bent mission of just getting their anger out. You know, not good. Really not good. Um, let's go ahead and use the goddess deck. And then we'll use the spirit animal deck for advice. What energy should my Gemini's harness regarding this spread? What energies should my Gemini's harness regarding this spread? <clears throat> what energy should my Gemini harness Gemini's harness regarding this spread? What energies should my Gemini's harness regarding this spread? Let's see here. Ooh, we've got Ostara, fertility. This always reminds me of the Empress. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. The Knight is definitely doing that. The Knight is definitely doing that here. <clears throat> so the other ones want to come out. What other energies will benefit my Gemini's regarding this spread? Oop, that's too many. What energies should my Gemini's harness regarding this spread? What energies should my Gemini's harness regarding this spread? Oh, shit. Okay. And then on the bottom, we do have Quan Yin, compassion. Hmm, interesting. Release judgments about yourself and others. Mm hmm And focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Well, this polar bear definitely needs to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Uh, this polar bear definitely needs to be doing that. Actually, the night, too. The night, too. I feel like the night is just like... God, is there even a word for this emotion that I'm feeling right now off this night? 
there's there's I don't I can't pinpoint what this emotion is that I'm feeling from this night it's just like kind of like disgusted but also like a little shocked a little perturbed towards this polar bear the queen of pentacles I feel like is gonna get like bombarded like what the fuck is this shit that you just brought to my doorstep I feel like the queen of pentacles is gonna be feeling like that queen of pentacles might need a little compassion in the situation too <clears throat> uh, and I'm not saying that uh, you know, I, I had a bunch of shit come in. And when I was done, I did the Libra reading. A lot of people gave me a lot of shit for that reading. Guys, when it comes to compassion, it is really important to have compassion for people and for yourself. It keeps you sane, okay? It keeps you sane in situations where people want to hate on you, where people want to bulldoze you, or where people come back after they've done some shit. Damn it. I think the audio just got messed up. Um, or where people come... So if my if it's not in sync, I apologize. We're only going to be on here for a few more minutes anyway. Just listen to the message. Um... What was I saying? It's important to have compassion, guys. It's important because it's more for you than for them, first of all. It makes you sane when people do shitty things to you, even if they come back and they did shitty things to you. And also, compassion leads to acceptance and leads to forgiveness, and that does lead to more healing, okay? It's better for everyone involved when there's compassion at play. And if someone can't get with the program, you don't got to you don't have to engage with them. You don't have to have them in your life. I like I was never trying to say like take back everybody who's ever done wrong to you. No, that's not what I'm saying. Like forgive them, get the closure, and you can show them the door, right? But that compassion is really important. So let's go ahead and read these off. I'm going alphabetical order. Okay. Kuan Yin, compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Gentleness is the strength behind true power and it comes from feeding yourself with nourishing words, thoughts, deeds, intentions, and all forms of food. Shielding yourself from harshness by placing an intention to attract only kind and gentle life lessons and relationships. Transform harshness into gentleness by refusing to see anything but the shining light that's within each person and situation. This intention begins with your relationship with yourself. Be very gentle with yourself in all ways. Be happy be, be kind, be sweet, but most of all, be true to you. Release guilt and shame to heaven for healing and transmutation. Keep your thoughts about yourself and others positive. Avoid gossip or bad mouthing of yourself or others. Forgive yourself or another. Don't be so hard on yourself or others. Release perfectionistic tendencies. The Eastern goddess Kuan Yin hears all prayers and is the essence of purity. So if I do saying advertising purity, right? Uh, purity, nurturing love and gentle power. Kuan Yin uh, is eligible for Buddhahood. Yet she has vowed to stay near earth until all beings are enlightened. This youthful and beautiful goddess helps us feel compassion and mercy towards ourselves and others. She's also a protectress of women and children. And she awakens musical interests and abilities as well as psychic clairvoyance. Very nice. Let's go to Astera. Austera. Fertility. It is a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Springtime is any time when the light increases within your mind and entire system. If you feel dark, heavy, or depressed, then you can lighten up by fueling yourself with positive intentions, nutritious foods, and anything that sparks your feelings of love. Surround yourself with the beautiful flowers, brighten the colors in your wardrobe and home, and draw back the curtains to let in natural light. You can paint a sunnier outlook within yourself, which will give rise to all sorts of new opportunities. Since like attracts like, feel more energized and powerful as you spruce up your inner and outer worlds, then capitalize on this increased vigor by starting a new project that really makes your heart sing with excitement. This card signifies pregnancy. You'll be involved with a successful child conception, adoption, or custody resolution. Your desire will fully manifest in the springtime. There will be a resurrection of the old. Your new idea or venture will be successful. It's an opportune time to make life changes. She's the Teutonic goddess of fertility in springtime, who's sometimes called austere. The words Easter and e East and Easter, excuse me, were both named after austera because of the reference to the sun rising in the east and the increase in sunlight beginning in the Celtic springtime. She's celebrated during the spring equinox as the bringer of increased light and the balance between nighttime and daytime hours. Call upon Ostara to increase your fruitfulness, fertility, or to help you embark on new ventures. Very nice, Jemmys. All right. So let's pull some advice from the spirit animal deck and we'll wrap this up. Oh, 42, 22 when I looked at the camera. Any advice from my Geminis regarding this spread? 
Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Come on. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? That's too many, Spirit. Thank you. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Okay, let's see what we have here. Ooh, <laughs> having the wisdom to get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> That's really what I see here. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith and wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, that breaks down to a four. 30, break it down to a three progression here. This is definitely for the night. Definitely for the night. Having the wisdom to understand the situation, accept the truth and say, fuck this, I'm out. I am out. I am out. I am out. I am out. Very clear. <laughs> very, very clear. Uh, oh, 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 interesting. Okay, so I just got a download. For some, this person that the knight is heading to is a wolf energy or has wolf as a totem here. Um, someone who is very wise, someone who's very loyal. Wolves are very, very loyal um, animals and they have that kind of energy. They also have teaching energy. Circle, something about circle. So, oh, protection, something about protection. Protection might be very vital here. If you're dealing with someone who's like doing a little magic and shit that I picked up on earlier, be sure that, to involve some kind of protective shit involved with this okay um i do feel like this knight is going to, to this person with gemini's i feel like that's the playful person um there is an energy of protection there that's interesting there's an energy of protection that i'm picking up uh there could be just a little bit of a spiritual hand with that or they just feel safer with the childlike energy uh, but it's also having the wisdom to get them. any other advice for my gemini's regarding this spread for the rest of 2019 Come on. Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Okay, I got two cards there. Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Got a third. Wow, awesome. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, oh my God. I love when we get the wolf and the coyote together. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. 16, breaking down to a seven here. Getting on your path, being guided in the right direction. 56, that's a master number that breaks down to an 11. This is weaving your dreams and starting to create the destiny that you're destined for. <laughs> I know, repetitive. But starting to create that path, right? The, yeah, I feel like however this knowledge came to this masculine energy, like I said, it felt a little intuitive. For some, it could have been a total just download a vision a dream spirit could have just gotten this person's face and be like this person's doing this right <laughs> just could have been that the coyote spirit's a bit of a trickster though they throw the curveballs to get people on the right path because they know the blueprint they know the grand design <laughs> the grand design here there's also a manifestation though this is to get someone towards their manifestation <coughs> hold on a second mm. Mm. okay and then we have a uh, scared beetle spirit magic works through you 52 breaking down to a seven you got two sevens here yeah we have a three of four two sevens and a love in here this is a uh, blessings this is a blessed energy and also another manifestation energy trusting spirit and allowing spirit to really help you get this manifestation off the ground here okay um, i feel like this is mostly for the night i feel like the night wanted to manifest something and whoever they were dealing with it wasn't going to happen with that person Spirit intervened. I was like, hey, curveball, you need to go this way. <laughs> your your destiny's over there. Your manifestation, uh, it, it's that way. It's that way. And having the wisdom to follow that. I love, and like I was saying, I love when the wolf and the coyote come out together. They're, they're kind of like sister totems to me. Sibling totems, if you want, you know, don't want to focus on gender there. Um, because there's a, a sense of knowledge with both of these totems. The coyote knows the grand design. And they kind of finagle things to get people where they need to be or get things going in the right direction. By the way, I probably made a second video and I probably didn't notice. I'm so sorry. I don't know if any information went missing. 
it's usually just one second um but the wolf is attaining that knowledge to know what path to follow you know what i mean and i feel like i feel like two people involved here might have these as totems like one might have a wolf and the other might have a coyote it's just kind of what i'm feeling overall we do have canary spirit sing your own song i honestly feel oh god okay spirit is just making a joke um i do feel whistleblower whistleblower with this the knight will whistleblow on this queen of swords for damn sure for damn sure and then i heard jailbird and i was like oh no spirit like they were definitely cracking a little joke there um but this is truth this is speaking truth um oh that's interesting i picked this up in the libra reading i, I just heard help yeah this is part of the libra reading too again big themes for a lot of people usually when usually when a reader is really aligned uh the readings will have big themes that correspond together with the details that are a little different just the way energy works anyway um yeah we've got two threes a four two sevens and an 11 here um threes are usually about communication working with other people getting together networking that sort of thing um this knight is going to be calling out to this queen of pentacles to spill some truth on a queen of swords energy for sure okay jemmies i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon vimeo instagram instagram posts will resume in 2020 <clears throat> excuse me, I'll be keeping Vimeo as it is and the partner readings will be stopping after I do, you know, once we go into 2020, the partner readings will be stopped, but I will be keep the Vimeo up there for as long as people want to, you know, want to access it. Um, and then the, the changes to Patreon will be announced on Patreon. The changes to YouTube will be announced on YouTube when the time is right. Okay. I love you guys. Take care. Have a really great rest of your year. Okay. Namaste.